Let me guess. You're spending hours making beats, but when you hit play, they sound thin, muddy, or just off. Here's the harsh truth. No matter how fire your melodies are and how good your drums are, a bad mix will ruin your beat instantly. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to easily fix that. In this video, I'll break down how to mix your beats in FL Studio step by step so they sound clean, balanced, and professional. Let's get right into it. Mixing is the process of balancing individual sounds in your beat so they work together. A good mix ensures that every single element, drums, bass, melody, has its own space and sounds clean on all devices. Studio monitors, headphones, car, etc. Poor mixing can make your beat sound amateur, even if the composition is great. Now that you know why mixing is essential, let's dive into the tools you'll need in FL Studio to create a pro level mix. mixer. The heart of your mix, this is where all your sounds are going to get rooted to. EQ or parametric EQ, which you'll be using the most. This shapes every single one of your sounds the way that you want it to be shaped. Shape the tone of each of your sounds. Compressors. Control the dynamics of your tracks. Reverb and delay. Add depth and space to your mix. Limiter. Prevent distortion by keeping your mix levels in check. Make sure to organize your mixer track channels and name each track to stay efficient. A messy workflow leads to messy mixes. Once you got your tools ready, the next step is leveling, which is the foundation of any great mix. Adjust the volume faders for each sound. Start with drums as an anchor. Keep your kick and snare loud and punchy while melodic ele elements sit slightly below. Use panning to create space. For an example, hi-hats, slightly right, clap, left, etc. Listen to your mix at a low volume. If something stands out too much, it's probably too loud. With your levels and panning set, it's time to bring out the clarity in your mix using EQ. Use high-pass filters to remove unwanted low end from your melodic elements. Cut frequencies that clash. For an example, cut out the low end of your melodies and sometimes your drums. Boost some frequencies, for an example, snares or claps. Solo each track when EQing to identify problem frequencies, but always listen to your mix as a whole after making adjustments. Now let's talk about compression, which can make or break the dynamics of your mix. Use reverb to create space, but keep it subtle. Do not drown your mix. Add delay or rhythm and interest, especially on your leads or vocals. Use a limiter on the master to control peaks, but avoid squashing the dynamics. Check your mix on multiple devices. Headphones, monitors, phone speakers. Use reference tracks to compare your mix to professional beats in the same genre. It'll help you identify what's missing in your mix. Mixing your beats in FL Studio might seem overwhelming at first, but by following these steps, you'll start hearing a huge difference in the quality of your tracks. Remember, practice does make perfect, so keep experimenting and improving. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe for more production tips.